I was trying to get mama set up. I see a few people jumping on here. I'm trying to get my computer and stuff like that set up. Um, oh, wait, I clicked the wrong button. Okay, let me go back over there and try and get mama set up. I'll be right back. Okay, so, all right, let me see if I can turn this around where I can talk to you. Okay, here I am, up here. Okay, I haven't looked at the comments. I uh, had to get my computer set up and um, get Mama set up where she can see it because her chair doesn't face in here. Anyway, um, Tommy is on his way home. He ended up having to work a little later than he thought. And he's picking up Tomas, and so they're about 30 minutes away, and so I'm going to be uh, doing this on my own right now, so I can use all the help I can get. Um, I've had a long day. I have. I woke up at 4.42. Are y'all weird like that? When I look at the clock, I can remember what time it is. I just woke up on my own, and um, today was bacon day, so I had to... Uh, I went ahead and got up about five and drank my coffee. It was nice to not rush. Drank my coffee and woke up good. And so about six o'clock, I came in the kitchen and started putting stuff in loaves and putting the bread in loaves and everything. And I've already put it out in the car. So I've got it out of the kitchen. So but let me look at the comments right quick. And I want to uh, ask y'all, uh, yeah, there's no, Valerie, no Pratt's tonight. Mike uh, made a post on Facebook. Um, and so he's not gonna uh, be on tonight. Hey, Bandana Grandma. Oh, y'all, I have to tell y'all. If you haven't been over to Bandana's um, uh, YouTube, go over there. She has got a video posted about her husband, Mick, whenever he was in Vietnam. And um, it, uh, you know, it is just, it, it was so real to, uh, you know, you've heard stories and stuff like that, but I mean, it was just really, really neat to hear him talk about it and everything and to hear his experience he actually got wounded um so uh it just uh it's just an amazing story it's about an hour and it was captivating and i was as i would get stuff done in the kitchen i'd go run in the living room and sit down and push play and watch it and um it just really really is amazing so susie i haven't uh said anything i haven't i meant to send you a message but i've just been baking all day for the market and everything, but uh, please tell Mick. Oh, it just it just touched me, and I just I wanted to sit there and cry the whole time, but I just couldn't because I had to keep my frame of mind because I had to keep running back and forth to the kitchen. But uh, it just it really touched me. It really touched me, and I really appreciate it so much that he shared his heart, and shared what what he experienced and what went on with him. So um, anyway. Uh, Thank y'all all for joining us tonight, and I'm excited about doing this whole chicken. Uh, uh, the whole chicken recipe is in our Instant Pot book, but um, I'm going to be doing, uh, at the end, I'm going to actually cook some rice in the broth that's left, and I thought I had some cream and mushroom soup, but I don't, so I'm going to make homemade cream and mushroom soup to go in it afterwards, too, so... Um, Anyway, thank you, Nanda. I'm glad you're here. I almost sent you a text to ask you. Make sure you're going to be here, but I knew you would be here, so. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, Bandana, I can't believe he's camera shy. He did amazing. I mean, he just was amazing. I'd have never known that he was camera shy. But anyway, we're going to do this. Um, yes, Nanda, thank you. You do. Hello, Food Forest Permaculture. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around to my pot. I'm going to talk, uh, and if y'all can't hear me, send me in capital letters, talk up because I'm on my iPhone. I'm looking at the chat on my computer. Um, but I'm going to turn the camera and, uh, show you seasoning and the chicken and all that stuff and, um, ignore any messes that you might see when I turn the camera because, uh, I have, I have washed most of the dishes, but anyway, um, so here we go, and I'm not gonna be able to see the chat right this minute because I'm gonna be doing this. So, okay, I gotta turn the camera around. There we go, Oop, yep, there's messes over there. Whoops, there we go. Okay, 
Here we go, and I'm sorry if it's rocky. Like I said, we are on my iPhone. Oh, I need to grab some water first. One thing you've always got to remember, you've got to always have liquid in your Instant Pot. And yeah, I use a cup of water with my chicken, and you can see the chicken is in there already. And I've got the chicken turned like with its back up. I'm gonna turn it over and cook it the whole, or what am I supposed to, I don't think I put that in the book. I don't know I'm supposed to, which way I'm supposed to turn my chicken. Y'all know? Oh, chicken. Nope, I didn't say in the book. So, anyway, um, we're gonna do it like this because it'll cook anyway, I can't remember. I was thinking you're supposed to put the breast side up, but um, now I'm rethinking that. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do because I've got the back side up now. That was salt I put on here, and this is Tony's. It's just a Cajun seasoning. It's got red pepper and black pepper and all kind of stuff in it. This is garlic powder or garlic granules. Some of that and onion. Ooh, want to sneeze? Okay, got that on there. And now um, I'm gonna turn it over, but I'm gonna use this hand. What I do when I'm filling with chicken, I use one hand to touch the chicken and the other hand to touch my seasonings because I don't want to contaminate it. Y'all, please remember, I'm going to scroll back through the chat, so if you write something directly to me, um, put it in capital letters where I'll see it easier, please. And y'all can hear me, huh? Yeah, I think I guess so. Y'all not telling me you can't hear me, so I guess you can. Okay. Now, garlic. This is a really, really fast and easy recipe, especially for any of y'all that work. I see a few feathers that was left on this chicken, so I'm going to pluck them out. Their, their chicken plucker must have not have been working too good. So, there's that. <clears throat> the knife here. I didn't get my onion out. I forgot it. Y'all get to see my little finds that I got at Dirt Cheap. I got these little mats at Dirt Cheap. These uh, cutting mats. See, isn't that cute? I bought three of them. I know I didn't need three, but I bought three. So, all right, let's see. And you can take onion and stuff like in the cavity of the chicken. I'm not gonna do that tonight. <clears throat> so. And you can do this onion in the food processor or whatever. And I guess you really don't, don't have to have onion in it since I put the onion powder, but I like what it adds to it. That's Corey's dog over there that y'all hear if you hear it. <laughs> uh, he's uh, sitting at the door. And he's deaf now, so he doesn't know everybody can hear him making his little noises. This is the way I've always cut up an onion. This is the way Mama did it. And uh, whew, it's strong, it's burning my eyes. But it's harder and harder to hold it and slice. I usually would slice it across like that. But this is what my sister does, my oldest sister. She cuts it on in half and then lays it down. I don't know if she does all those cuts that I just did, but something like that. It's a lot easier to hang on to it. Ooh, my eyes are stinging. somebody that's picky about onions <clears throat> and you have
have to try and hide them. I guess you might want to have smaller pieces than this. This really is going to cook them up good, so. But none of us are funny about that, except Tomas, and it don't matter how small I cut them with him, he'll see them, so. We'll just have to, I'll tell him to pick them out. Here's the onion, and I like for some to go down in the water, and I've noticed I didn't salt or anything in my water because it's going to come off the chicken, and so that's going to make us a wonderful chicken broth, uh, because, and some juices will cook out of the chicken too. So let me grab some celery. Celery here because Julie has been here last weekend. Y'all say hey to Julie because she's watching, but she don't comment. She don't uh, on YouTube, but she's watching. She called right before we went on. We rinse it. And I'm going to cut it in fairly big pieces where I can pick it out. I'm not going to leave it in there. I'm just going to shove that down. Get a few pieces on top. All right, now, let me uh, read the directions. Make sure they're right. One cup of water on the rack in your pot. Put the whole chicken that has been sprinkled on all sides with salt and seasoning. Onion and celery. High pressure for 30 minutes. My refrigerator, my new refrigerator dings to me when I don't uh, shut the door, which I like. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put the instant pot over there. And I have to go on the other side and look at the picture, y'all. Okay, I think y'all can see. Okay, here we go. in the picture okay now we're gonna put the lid on close the vent and push manual it's already on high pressure for 30 minutes now she's done so that's what we're doing okay i can't even see uh how I'm looking at the pot. Uh, I mean, how, <laughs> how I'm looking on the camera. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see if I turn it around this way. Now, back at you. All right, sorry if I'm making y'all sick uh, with getting dizzy. Um, okay, let me, I'm gonna go back to the comments right quick before we start with the cream of mushroom soup. Let's see. Um... Oh, yeah, Bandana says she likes to cook uh, chicken in her Instant Pot. I want to do some chicken and dumplings, too. I didn't put that recipe in the in the cookbook, either. But, I mean, it's just, um, you know, you just have to have chicken and, and broth, so. <laughs> Bandana, I, was I making you nervous with my cutting techniques? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, happy birthday, Bandana Grandma. I missed that. Let's see. When is your birthday? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see in the comments, but I'm having a hard time seeing it. Um, see you, Rock's Corner. Oh, uh, yeah. Nanda said hey to Julie. Okay. Uh, June 25th is Bandana's uh, birthday, and she finds out the gender of her daughter Heidi's uh, baby. So that's gonna be so fun. So fun. Okay, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, you see my tomatoes, Patty? Um, let's see, 
There's tomatoes right over here, but they're not all mine. But these are mine. You can see they have a little bit of diatomaceous earth on them because I sprinkled them good. Um, these are my tomatoes that we got from the free tomato plants. So, and the other ones are from the market. I had bought them. So, okay, now let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to move this along. Sorry if I'm getting rocky. I'm going to move it over here. Y'all can see the dishes over there. Just close your eyes. Okay, what size instant pot are you cooking the chicken in? Okay, I meant to say that. Thank you, Nanda. It's this, my six quart. So it's, it's, it's my uh, smaller instant pot, which is not small. It's plenty big. All right, here we go. There we go. Down like that. Now let me get my computer. Oh, you know what? I forgot to pause that video. It'll make my battery run down. Okay. Yes, it's the same size as yours, Nanda, except it is not the fancy one. All right, here we go. Let's see. We're going to make homemade cream and mushroom soup. And, guys, I am sorry. I uh, realized at the last minute I didn't have cream and mushroom soup. And so I have, I've got a video with the recipe on how I did it and everything. And to be perfectly honest, I don't, normally don't follow a recipe, and I didn't look it up. So if you've seen my video or if you know of a recipe and I'm doing it different, it's because I'm just kind of doing this. So, okay. Yeah, this is a really good size Instant Pot, Diana. I, you know, I mean, you can really do a lot in it. The only reason I bought the big one is because I do do a big batch of bone broth sometimes. And I, we also had such big chickens. Can y'all even see in the pot? But maybe when I get something besides butter in there, you'll better see. All right, I got a strain. I'm gonna drain my mushrooms. This is some mushrooms that I got, as you see, for 80 cents, this big old can. It was at that, that uh, markdown place that me and my friend Therese go. Mushrooms are starting to cook. Let me reach back here and get a spoon. I mean, my butter's starting to cook. I, oh, maybe if I turn this big light on, let's see how that goes. Yeah, tell me if that's better or worse with the light on. And I typically would like smaller mushrooms, but Tommy likes big old chunks of mushrooms, so. And you just want to saute the mushrooms just a few minutes in there. And I'm not putting all this in my chicken and gravy. I don't want y'all to think I'm putting all this in there because I'm not. Um, I'm gonna it's going to make at least a cup of liquid because we put a cup in there. But um, I'm just going to up put some of this in there to make it go a little further. And it makes the rice really creamy, too, when you put the uh, mushroom soup in there. Okay. That's got to cook a little bit. Let's see. Let me get my milk. Okay, don't you have a birthday month? Yes, I do not. Well, no, how do you know? Yes, July 9th is my birthday. So, I'm going to be 51. So, I like the big mushrooms. Yes, that's right, uh, uh, Mabel Hart Homestead Kim. Um, it is easier to pick them out, so, because I'll eat a little bit of mushrooms, but I don't want a bunch of them. But Tommy, on the other hand, he likes a lot. And uh, for those of y'all just joining us, Tommy is on his way home. He ended up working a little later than what uh, he had anticipated, and so he, and he had to pick up Tomas. So he is on his way home. All right, I'm starting out with one cup of milk in here. And I'm going to put, can you see, that much, a heaping tablespoon of flour. I think that's going to be good. We'll see. And I'm stirring it up. 
and you want it you want it cooking like this it's it's kind of boiling up because you want this liquid to thicken well, you know what it'll thicken when it gets hot what I'm trying to say and if you're uh, if you don't um you know, if you don't eat gluten, then you could also use cornstarch. But I think I'd put the milk in and then add the cornstarch with a little bit of liquid. I don't know. It might need a little bit more flour. So, like, two tablespoons of flour. When I did my video for this... It was either for the cream of mushroom or the uh, cream of chicken. Um, it never would get thick. I had to keep adding flour and adding flour. So I may have to do that the same thing here. All right, let's see what Bandana says. My new project bought, bought shoe store footies, trying them on each peach and Asian pear and trees to keep bugs and squirrels. Oh! Also, I saw a motion detector water scooper to zap them. Good idea, Ben, and I hope it works. I hope that works. That would be so frustrating. We all, we, we, cat, the cats help us. I have friends that can't grow tomatoes because of the squirrels stealing them and everything, and uh, I, I would just be killing me some squirrels, but they live in the city, so it's really hard for them. But, uh, in fact, uh, I've, I've, had, I've had two friends. Well, one friend actually don't live in the city. but And I haven't talked to her about that and to see if she's ha been able to deal with the squirrel. She uh, did buy some traps. She was trying to avoid doing the poison, you know. But she's, I think she's had two or three years in a row, you put a little salt in it too, that uh, she's not been able to harvest her tomatoes for the squirrels. All right, we're gonna let this boil up and see if it gets thick. If not, we'll add some more milk and flour. Oh, so you didn't get any fruit last year, man, that is terrible. You know, you could get a, a pellet gun and maybe shoot them. I don't know. It might be illegal to shoot those in the city too. But that's so, that's so frustrating. I mean, it was our own animals that ate our garden. It was frustrating, much less if it was the wild animals. <laughs> I can't imagine. So this is starting to thicken up, you see. I wish I'd have noticed the time when I started the Instant Pot, but I didn't, um, to see how long it actually is going to take for it to do. All right, I'm going to turn that off. Cause that's getting pretty thick. I may have to actually, I may actually have to add some milk to it if it gets too thick. Tastes good to me. Okay, so now I've got that done. We can chat for a little bit. So let's see. I'm gonna do this. Trying to be gentle, y'all. Trying to be gentle. Because you know, I've told y'all before, they don't call me Grace. Because I'm not real graceful. Also, um, let's see. I'm gonna turn this camera around. Now. Alright, I'm gonna start right here. So right here. Now, um, all right, so I've been getting ready for the farmer's market today. Oops, my thing's not on that. My cord's pulling it. Um, all right, let me start my thing and see my video and see. Everything's a thing with me today. I'm tired, y'all. Oh, um, I can't believe I'm still going. All right, let me do this and see if my head is in the picture. Well, I don't know what's happening. 
It's like my video is rewound. Okay, most of my head is in the picture. Let me give it up a little bit. Oh, Julie said can't hear me. Okay, hmm. Uh, let me see. Can y'all hear me? Let's see. Maybe it's because I'm so far away from the camera. I don't know. Let me try and scoot it up closer. Okay. Can you hear me now? Okay. Kim says she can hear. Okay. All right. Now my head's cut off again. This happened to do this. I teased Tommy about it, but it's not easy when you have to worry about the picture and all that stuff. So, okay. But what I say it is, is that I'm going to the farmer's market. Um, tomorrow I did uh, my loaves for like uh, enough dough for like 18 loaves of bread and I started a video today Tommy I'll have to finish it um, but because I've had quite a few people ask me how do you bake all the bread um, because you know the sourdough rises overnight it's all ready at one time to be put in the loaves but then as I put it in the loaves it some rises faster than others and stuff like that and so I'm, I've been working on a video today that's what took me a little longer baking I didn't get through baking till like 2 and I started uh, putting the bread into loaves by 7 or maybe it was maybe it was 6 when I started that but anyway um so that was really a long time today so um anyway so I'm working on that video to, just to kind of show people how I do it and how I gauge when to put what in the oven and stuff like that so, um, anyway, but also, I don't know where my little notebook went, um, because I've written out a few things. We did do, we, uh, ended up with, a, got a hundred ears of corn, and they were huge ears of corn. They were really nice. Uh, the nicest corn we've had in quite a few years, or if ever, maybe. But, um, anyway, so off those hundred ears of corn, I got 20 bags for the freezer with two cups in each bag. So, a lot of people that had watched were asking, you know, how want us to let them know how much we ended up with. And so I was very, very pleased with that yield. So, um, oh, a oh, oh, great, uh, bon, uh, well, every time I see Bonterra, then I can't say Nunda. I, she said she's been wanting that, a recipe for cream and mushroom soup. It's real simple. Oh, and by the way, the Instant Pot just came on to 30 minutes, so it's starting to cook now. But, um, uh, you can also do the same thing and make cream of chicken soup. Just use chicken broth and thicken it. You know, you may want to put a little butter in it and um, and thicken it with um, the flour and the milk, just like I did. So, it's real easy. And, oh, Bandana, I'm so glad. I, I'm glad you told him what I said. But, I mean, he just, he don't know. He is really, he, it, it will touch a lot of people. Well, I can't wait. I've got to tell, uh, pull it up for my sister Julie and tell her how to find it. Which, Bandana, why don't you post, uh... Post your YouTube on here, or how, whatever you do, you know, where people can click it and see how to find you and um, go to her video um, with uh, Mick, and uh, it really, really is good. If y'all haven't seen it, you need to see it. So, it really, really was good. So, okay, I'm scrolling back up here um, just to see, um, to make sure I haven't missed anything. Because y'all know how hard it is <laughs> to try and make sure we don't get, miss any comments. But, um, okay. So, I did that. Uh, yeah, Bandana, that's what we did. I have a farmer that um, I get my corn from, Mr. Cloyce. And um, he grows it every year. I got G90. And, oh, I'm sorry. Let me go turn off the beeper. That must be Tommy coming in. The dog would be howling right now if I wouldn't have turned the beeper off. So, anyway, um, but we got the, I, I ordered my corn from him every year now. I don't even try and grow it. I was growing Danny corn just to grow it to get some seeds, and that's more of a field corn, something we could dry and make cornmeal with and everything. But, um, but I, I, it's, it's just a lot easier to uh, be able to get it from him. You have to have such a big thing. Howl anyway. 
you have to have such a big area to grow enough corn to be able to pick up and everything. So. Come on, come on. 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 I'm so sorry, y'all, but you know our motto. We're life on the farm. We just got real. It's our dogs really bark, <laughs> and they bark a lot. Um, oh, wow. Uh, Grandma Rose says she remembers the year that her husband was paid in corn the day before they were leaving for, for vacation, so she had to deal with corn instead of pack. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's something. Uh, hey, Beth. Um, there you go. Thank you, Nanda. Thank you, Nanda. I'm glad you posted that. But anyway, um, so we get we did the video on us doing the corn. It's a rather long video. Tommy wanted to video the whole thing, and I said, Tommy, it will take us too long to get out. We had 100 ears. It was really 116 to, to shuck all the corn. So we shucked most of it and just showed the end of us shucking it. And I had already gotten the um, um, my pot of water on pretty much boiling, and so I showed. And I'd already uh, actually blanched some. And so I just showed washing the corn and then blanching it and then us taking it off the top. So anyway, it still was a very long video, but it wasn't as long as if we would have shucked all the corn live. So we did that and we also did a gar garden update. We've been working hard out in the garden. You know, I guess we're a little discouraged after the goats and everything. And uh, so we hadn't been going over there as much as we were. And really, we haven't been going over there as much ever since the Tennessee trip because it just got so hot. We came home and it was just smoldering hot and it's just so hard to, if you don't get up real early in the morning and get over there, even in the evenings, it, it's it's uh, uh, really hot, you know? So anyway, there's my little man. Hey, babe. You got some people waiting to see you. Oh, you're gonna have to climb up here. Oh wait, I don't know, it's delayed. Can you? Oh, you didn't. I'm sorry. Where's Annie? She went, she's with Jonathan somewhere. All right, let me scoot him over here. You had some people wanting to see you. Oh, Miss Nanda already said, hey, Tomas. Hey. <laughs> oh. Where is she? Miss Nanda? Miss no, Nanda? Annie. Annie, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, can you tell everybody what we're doing tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday. What are we doing Fridays? Mm -hmm. Go to the farmer's market. Mm. And then tomorrow night, we're having something. Mm -hmm. I might even let you cook supper for us. Oh, I want to get a weenie roast tonight. We're having a weenie roast. Well, we can't because we have our friends here on YouTube. Right? Yeah. And I've got a chicken over in the uh, Instant Pot. That's what I've been doing is cooking for them. But anyway, we're going to have us a fun weekend. We might even go down to the creek one day or something. That's what I want to do. You want to do that? Mm-hmm. You tired? No? <laughs> anyway, so, um, Miss Kim said hey. Miss Bandana, uh, Grandma said hey. Hey. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, so we, oh, BJ Stacy, you know what she said? There's the tennis pro. They have seen your video. Papa posted it. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, so, all right, Bandana Tommy is here. She, she said when Tommy comes in, she's going to tell Mick if he can come in and uh, watch you. So, you probably have a lot of something you want to say to Mick anyway, huh? I've been oh. telling Bandana Grandma, so wait till Mick gets in there. Okay. What you want to tell all him? Right. <laughs> he didn't tell me he had something to tell him. But I'm, I'm sure he does. She's going to get him. But um, anyway, so we did a garden update, and we worked in the garden. I got weeds out of uh, the uh, a lot of the boxes and everything. And so we, uh, you want to uh, scoot a chair over here? You want to go sit in there, or you want to sit? In sit in my lap. <laughs> so um, you know, the garden's looking better. It's 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 looking much much better. Say. Hola, Señor Tomás. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not good with English, much less Spanish. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's Jerry. not spelled correctly. So. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, nice. 
It, it's spelled phonetically correctly. Yeah, so I should have known what it was. Yeah. But anyway, why did it why did it go away to say something right there? It didn't. It's right there. I know, but it did say Alderman Farms. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. It just said, oh, it's done signed you out. But that's okay, right? That's not gonna let you say anything. It's not gonna let you chat. Okay. Well, I don't really need to chat, but I guess I should sign in. Okay, y'all. I, it just went away whenever he came in. So, I have got you a nice whole chicken oh, cooking in the Oh, it smells so good, too. And I'm going to make some rice. And I didn't have any cream mushroom soup to go in it. So, you know what I did? But real mushrooms. I made some cream mushroom soup with oh, real mushrooms. Oh, yay. Where'd you get the mushrooms? I bought them at that uh, cheap store that Nancy Rose gave me. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a big old can, so I'm going to have some for the freezer. Ooh. It's big old mushrooms. That's going to be I told y'all. I told y'all here. Like no, that. no. So, okay. a great bearded one. <laughs> hey. All right. Bandana says Mick is here. Mick. So. Bruh. Mick. What an incredible video that was yes. uh, about your experience. Man. Uh, and thank you again. We, we thanked you for your service when we first met you. Yeah. But, Wow. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what now? How did you make it? <laughs> Sorry. To my Oh, I planted another plant out there. Replaced it. How about that? Isn't that nice? <laughs> he I should have just told you that it grew like he that. He just right? saw the new flower <laughs> on Pete's uh, grave. So Yeah, anyway. I'm not, we was unable to show you a photograph, but we put Patty's hibiscus. We planted the hibiscus out there. Uh, but anyway, uh, Mick, I mean... Dude, it was just so raw and, and just good. And yeah. uh, thank you, uh, of course, for your service, but also uh, thank you for being willing to to sit down for that interview. Yeah. And then thank you for letting uh, Bandana post it publicly. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that video is going to help a ton of people. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to end up going viral or semi-viral. I mm -hmm. think a lot of people are going to see that. Yeah. And I hope they do because it was just outstanding. And you, sir, mm -hmm. are a natural. Yes, he is. And, and, and then I was saying that he's, he's more camera shy. And I mean, you'd have never known it. You'd have never known it. <laughs> he I, was just I, mean, was great. I thought I was watching a celebrity interview or something. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, you look, really you look like you've been on camera every day of your life. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's good. But I just, I just appreciate really getting to hear your story there. You know, and, and I understand some things are difficult to talk about. it, And you may not have told it all, and that's okay. But, you know, there's some men that, that can't even talk talk much about it. And, I mean, I'm just thankful that you can and that you did. And, and I, I think you will help some of those to, mm -hmm. to maybe say, well, you know what? Maybe I can talk about it, too. So, I agree. And talking about it is one of the best medicines. You know, mm -hmm. it tastes bitter while you're doing it, while you're taking it. But mm -hmm. anyway, so thank you, sir. Yes. I am honored to call you friend yes. and um, was honored to watch that. Yes. And, and kudos to whoever put it together because it was, it was very well done. Mm -hmm. Yep. It really was. So really if funny. you guys hadn't seen it, go to Bandana Grandma's channel. Uh, I also shared it. Okay, good. Yeah. There, so I might put, put, again, put the link can. again, uh, Nanda, and uh, please. And you guys need to watch that mm -hmm. and uh, watch the whole thing. Or watch it with your family. It's family friendly. Mm -hmm. um, if definitely. you've got any kids, you know, any teenagers or something, watch it with them. Uh, they'll learn something about faith, they'll learn something about vulnerability. I mean, it's just bravo. Yeah. Well done. Thank yes. you. I remember, um, you know, my daddy was in World War II, and so was Tommy's. Daddy was in the Coast Guard, and Tommy's daddy was in the Army? Uh, he Air was Force? in the Army Air Force. Army it Air was, Force. yeah, he was a nose gunner. So it was before the Air Force was its own branch. Yeah. So he was in the Army Air Force. And like I told y'all, my daddy died when I was eight. And so, you know, we didn't, of course, we didn't talk about the war then, and I don't know, I really don't know if Daddy talked about it. I, I really don't know. But I didn't, and I, we were, I was 17 when I started dating Tommy, and I didn't know better to not ask questions. And something had come up one time when I was at his mom and daddy's house. It was, I think it was after we were married. Mm -hmm. Because I remember going home and telling you about it, because a conversation come up, and we had a conversation about the war and everything, and Tommy Zeddy ended up being a prisoner of war, and uh, for six months, right? Yeah. Around that. 
But anyway, um, and I mean, I don't, I don't think I asked any inappropriate questions, but I didn't know that Tommy said he didn't really talk about the war, and I didn't know that. And um, so we talked about it and everything. And when I went home, Tommy was like, "You, he's told you more than he's ever told me. I've never heard him talk about it before." Mm -hmm. And so, and then when uh, Tommy's niece got, I guess, in high junior school, high. junior high. And maybe that was around the time it may have been. when uh, when I had talked to him about it. Just like about five, okay? Five candies. And um, she did an interview with him uh, and for school and everything. And then he eventually sat down and he wrote a little uh, a little mini book. And he's got one for each of our kids. Uh, oh, that's right. And also, if you... Um if you go to aldermanfarms.net, not to grab this, please. It's the resource. No, it's the acknowledgments page on aldermanfarms.net, uh, and there's a little bit about Mr. Stomp, and um, and there's some stuff about my dad, and there's actually a link to an audio recording with Jeremy. You remember? Yes, uh, yes, that's yeah, right. So, yeah. so the, the grandson of one of our neighbors um, did a project, and Daddy allowed him to to record him. So, I, and I ended up getting a, a, a MP3 copy of it, and so you can actually hear my dad's voice talking a little bit about it. And um, I think I've also got linked there a link to the congressional testimony of. Uh, a doctor who daddy was on the uh, what's known as the long march mm -hmm. uh, where thousands of men died basically it was just a march to nowhere the, their captors uh, took them on this march basically to prolong their captivity um, because their um, their um, what am I trying to say rescuers liberators were, were coming and I laugh about that because <laughs> That's not a funny thing, but I, when I think about that, my dad tells the funny story that all the guys in the camp, you know, they just knew, you know, they were going to see Patton and, you know, all of these, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it was like a, a tank, two Jeeps, and a chaplain or something. <laughs> and uh, but, but anyway, so I don't remember now everything that's on that page, but it's aldermanfarms.net slash acknowledgements. Okay, none has uh, got, got it up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can scroll down there and hear my dad, a uh, little, little snippet. But Patty's right that my, when my niece Heather did that interview, it, it seemed to kind of open him up. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, and maybe he thought nobody wanted to hear about it either. You yeah. know? Well, and so then people were scared to ask him about it because he did go through some bad, yeah. some bad stuff. My dad yeah. was the toughest man that ever walked the planet. And I think it was more of the pain because of, of another story I'll tell right quick that my sister tells. My sister's 16 years older than I am. And when the movie The Great Escape came on TV, um, so I don't know what year it was, but when, when The Great Escape came on TV, and my dad was one that sat in his lounge chair with his feet up and he'd be reading the newspaper. And every now and then he'd fold that newspaper down and look at whatever was on TV or whatever and he'd fold it back up. And my sister was, she said she was laying on the floor and The Great Escape was coming on. Are you sure that's the name of the movie? I'm almost positive. Okay. I'm not positive now that you said that. I was positive right before. Uh, but anyway, whichever one it is, y'all maybe y'all can correct me, but it was a, the, the movie opens up with aerial footage of a Stalag, as, uh, of a German prisoner of war camp. Like and a helicopter's coming in. Something, something like that. Yeah. It's just an aerial shot, you know, it's the opening of the movie. And so my dad, I guess, heard the music or whatever, and my sister says she's watching the TV, and she, behind her she heard the newspaper go down, and then a few seconds later she heard the leg of the lounge chair go down, and when she did, she turned around and looked at my dad, and he was looking at the TV with with this, his face was white, it had been drained of color, and then he didn't say a word, he just got up and went to the back. And my sister got up to go check on him, and mom stopped her, and uh, mom went and checked on him. And anyway, whatever movie it was, my dad said that 
that that was either footage of the camp that he was in or the, the set was designed based on wow. how the, you know, the camp that he was in. So, you know, it just all came flooding back. Just tough, tough stuff. So, mm -hmm. uh, Mick, sorry about that, pal. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to hit you in the feels. <laughs> um, but one thing that I was thinking about while Mick was uh, doing the interview and everything was that, you know, I, and I'm so glad to have his perspective and everything, but one, one thing I, my mind kept going back to, and, I, and I'm sorry, Susie, I call you Vendetta. That's just your name to me now. <laughs> but all I could think about was Vendetta at home, how she felt, you know, what she was going through when she got the notice that he had been shot, when she got the notice when they had moved him to the hospital, when she got the notice he was in Japan and in a safer place than where he was. You know, I mean, yeah. I, I think it would be a good uh, second interview for you to tell your perspective about yeah, that. Really. I think that would be neat. I wish I would have recorded interviews with my mom. You know, my yeah. dad was shot down uh, over Poland and uh, she gets a thing, you know, from, from the army that, that he was missing in action. And it was, I don't remember how long after that, but it was quite a long time yeah, before. A I think the next thing she got was a, a, a little note that, that they allowed the prisoners to send to their families. And, you know. No, we've got, we still have all that. I still have all that. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a show where we can do a show where I'm going to get some of that stuff out. Yeah. That'd be and neat show to show everybody. It, and show it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's right. Susie's a combat vet too. That's right. And I yeah. see several people commenting about family members that don't want to talk about it. Well, <clears throat> I hope they're talking about it to somebody. It doesn't have to be you, you know. But um, I hope they've got some comrades that they that they sit around and um, and have some uh, uh, chewing the fat sessions, you know, because that's very helpful. And mm -hmm. very necessary. And uh, anyway, hey, Deep South. Um, so, man, Danny, that was a fine hat I saw you had. He had a dog on. It looked like he had a live raccoon on his head. Big Bear sent him a hat. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't get to see that yeah. today. I may or may yeah. not have a hat coming. Oh, yeah? May or may well, not. I know you didn't put, you put in your request a while back. Well, so. yeah. So, you know, it was the price of them pigs. That's right. That's right. Well, he reached out to me today. So, oh. yeah, it was so funny that the, uh, the, that was Danny. I don't know if it's Danny or Wanda, but Danny, that was the dog. That, that was the doggone longest tail coon I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that, that, that coon had a tail that long, wow. on it, but it was only about that much longer than Danny's tail. Yeah. <laughs> so he had two tails yeah, coming off tail back there. Danny's and, Danny's and, and, and yeah. the coons. It was great. Mm. Great looking hat though, mm. man. So, I'm not gonna tell you about the one. I'm gonna wait to tell you about uh, mine. But anyway, um, what else? Got nine minutes on the pot. Nine minutes on the pot. Um, I'm talking about the garden. How we've been working the garden. They got a lot of the grass out. It's looking good. I actually had lots of pictures to show you, but then Tommy ran late, and then I don't know how to do all that stuff. I can't do it on my phone anyway. Um, but um, I've got actually have some peas that long so just a couple but some peas so they are going to make something loaded with tomatoes i don't know how much yes yes loaded with tomatoes and you uh, did you tell them you know 100 whatever it is 120 tomato plants and so far we found three tomato hornworm, hornworms four i got one more off oh, yesterday you did. okay mm -hmm. yeah so we, that ain't bad yeah it's not bad but we've got us we're trying to stay ahead of it we've been getting a lot of rain so i, I did do that diatomaceous earth uh, one day, Tuesday maybe, Monday, Tuesday, and so we got to get back out there and do that again in between rain. But you know, when it rains, you just have to do it over again. So, um, but uh, oh, Kim's on there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kim. Uh, let's see. Yeah, chicken snacks, tomato hornworms. <laughs> yeah. But hey, that's a meal. Those these and things were. Yeah, was, I ain't, and I ain't eating one of them. Why are we talking about yeah, that? Yeah, no, tomato plants are nasty. A worm. I mean, you know. Yeah, but if I found something eating a tomato, I might. But mm. you know, but I've been. Mm. Uh, we've decided I want you to try a uh, sourdough grub recipe. 
That could be your recipe. You know, you're supposed to be, uh, you're supposed to, uh, that was probably a horrible face. Uh, that'd be great. You go try and get that for the thumbnail, I know, huh? I mean, making that ugly no. face. Did you see the picture that I put up for that, for that video? I've tried to retake the picture. It's just close up on this part of the chicken. Yeah, I did. It was a terrible, and I tried to redo it where I could get I'll some of the inches pot, but I couldn't get I'll it. So. It. <laughs> it was funny. But I, and then, when I turned on the... Uh, you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm touching your screen. Um, when I turned on my phone for the uh, YouTube, it was just a black screen. So... Mm. Um, well, it seems to be working fine. Oh, I'm sorry, Grandma Rose. Mm. Nanda and, and, you know, there's, you know, uh, there's a few on here that, I mean, you know, the stuff that they've been through, they just, guys, they can't talk about it. They don't talk about yeah. it. I just, my heart goes out to them. Well, I'll tell you, you know, if you'll go to, uh, I really, really feel free to go to aldermanfarms.net slash ebooks and download the When Trauma Strikes. Uh, PDF, mm -hmm. uh, it may be helpful, you know, yeah, you just, tell. you know, don't push it on, just say here, um, have this, and I also would highly recommend, and I don't know if I have this in our Amazon store, but a book by Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman called mm -hmm. On Combat. I will, I will make sure to add it, there's two, On Killing sure. and On Combat, mm -hmm. and it's the psychological cost of, of warfare. Mm -hmm. And whatnot, and Lieutenant Colonel Grossman has helped many, many a warrior, and I trust him implicitly. He's one of my heroes. I've met him a number of times, and uh, back when I was uh, in sales with the company I'm with, um, I would love, I would love it if I, I would have to go to conferences in our field uh, of public safety software. And it turns out he was a, he's a, he's a prized speaker. And I always loved it if I was fortunate enough or blessed enough to find a conference he was speaking at. And uh, again, I've had a chance to visit with him several times and, and he's amazing. And so Mick, you need to read that on, on combat and, uh, and on killing. If, you, if you're only gonna read one on combat um, by Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman, he talks about the Psychological, psychological impact, the, the physical, mental, all that kind of stuff. And the main thing is that he will help, he helps you understand that you're not crazy uh, when things bother you, you know? And uh, he, he, he helps you understand that, that the stuff you've seen and experienced is abnormal, not you. And mm -hmm. uh, it's just great, great stuff. Yeah. Some, of my, some of my presentation that, that I have given at the Homesteaders of America conference and will give again this year, updated, uh, comes from Lieutenant Colonel Grossman's writings. So I can't recommend it highly enough. Um, Nancy says, uh, oh well, she is retracting now. Thanks, Nanda. But she asked if I still like my Instant Pot, or I do. Well, you ought to retract your answer now. <laughs> <laughs> well, she probably saw, saw some of the talk about this is gonna be. Yeah. So, but um, I, oh, I didn't get my little pad over there. I had made it, got down a few things to help my memory, but I, don't, I think I'm going to have to talk about everything. Oh, by the way, the name of the mixer is Large Marge. No, it's not. It is to me. That's what I call no, it. No, I'm going to call it uh, Big Bertha. No. Um, well, I was thinking of Dez. 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay. You're but still thinking I, about Desiree? Mm hmm. Oh. I am. That doesn't make like any sense. Name. Well, I like that name. Oh. Okay. The dynamic Desiree. I don't know. People have told I'll me I need, to, large I need to uh, name my mixer. Um, but oh, anyway, well, happy so. birthday, Peaceful Inspirations. What do you see that at? Right here. Oh. Spending the end of their birthday with us. Oh, thank you, and happy, happy birthday. Hey, Jan. <laughs> hey, Jan. So you should say happy birthday. You know, Tyler yeah. always sings people happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Peaceful Inspirations. Mm -hmm. 
Happy birthday to you. Yay. And many more. Yay. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. You were about to interrupt um, me singing. Oh, well, because um, Bandana's got a birthday coming up. And so uh, I can't remember when they said Bandana's birthday was, though. When's your birthday? They, they, Susie. I know, that's bad, but I've known her as Bandana Grandma, and so I have a hard time. I have to think about what her name really is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but we don't, they we don't have to be in a hurry, ass. do we? Mm -mm. Because the, the Pratts are not on. Two um, minutes. Yep, two minutes left. It's almost ready. Are we going to get to eat it on film? If you want, if you want to say we're going to stay on live. No, yeah, we don't have to go anywhere. Mm. Ooh. Well, I'm not seeing it. Maybe oh, well, somebody will say it again. June 25th. June 25th. So that is yeah, soon. So, yeah. Oh. What? Yeah, it's the 21st today. So, oh. happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Bandana Grandma. Happy birthday to you. Most huggable neck in the universe. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, peaceful inspiration says Tower's mom, Jill's birthday is the 23rd. Really? Oh, wow. Happy birthday She's to you. Here. Happy birthday to her. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tower's mom, Jill. Happy birthday to her. So, okay, let me go over here and Tommy can. Be the cameraman now, and I don't have to do everything. Oh, okay. So is the, is the camera black on the other side? No. Why would it be black on the other side? You said something about it being black. No, okay, it good. was because it All was right. messed up. All right, here we go. Well, I guess, you know, this is really not a big deal to show this, but, and y'all, if y'all are scared of the steam or whatever, you can take a little kitchen knife or something to do it because it does come out fast it does sputter and everything so there she goes there she blows oh you turn it off too turn it off oh bandana grandma's flying out to tara's on the 26th and her and jill are going to celebrate their birthdays together it's a skateboard park How can you get on such a tiny skateboard? No, it's like a toy. Oh. You can use your hands, and it like goes on ramps. <laughs> 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 that is so cool. I like it. All right, so do we need to sit here like this? Well, it's just about done now, I guess. All right. Can y'all hear it still? But it's gotta, it's gotta be completely done, and the little thing. You see, this, this instant pot. It comes up level with this. Um, I like the way the uh, eight quart does better. It comes above this, but so this will sink further down in there when all the steam is gone. Bye, Danny or Wanda. Thanks for popping in. See y'all later. Bandana Grandma says she can't handle the cuteness. <laughs> the cuteness, yeah, from you. Tomas says from me. <laughs> yeah, she said you were a cuteness overload. <laughs> Oh. Tomas said thank you. All right, let me back up a little bit. All right, what Watch I'm going to do, I'm going to, I want to brown my chicken. And so, because when it cooks in here, it's not going to be brown. And so I'm going to put it while I'm uh, getting doing the rice and everything, I'm going to have it in the oven on broil and hopefully not burn it and um, brown it up good. So, all right. Oh, now. I guess I need to come over here just so we can see in the... Yeah, but the little thing hadn't went down yet. Okay, it went down. Not too close. It's smoking. Man, it smells good. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a pretty big chicken, but it looks like it's done. Hope it's done. Let's see. What's that, man? Oh, this juice is bubbling out of it. Seems kind of tough to me. Is this one of ours? No. But it don't feel real done, though. Doesn't? 
Mm -mm. Uh-oh. Hmm. It's the curse of Tara. Yeah, thanks, Tara. All right, I'm scraping my good stuff off to leave in there. We're going to go on with it, and <laughs> after the show, we might pressure it some more. I read, I got it out and looked at it because I thought it said it was a hen, and I thought hens are tough. And so, I uh, I looked Lucy's at it, tough. and it said it wasn't, no, but it's like a, a stewing hen. Oh. Because it's like tough. All right, oh, now this, I got you. this is um, hot, and so, I'm going to try and do this like, oh. Not, oh, oh, that onion on my thumb burned. Kids, don't try this at home. She's what you might call an expert. Well, don't say that. I missed some hair. Look, some feathers. Look. Even mm. though I did on. Um, it's just more protein. An egg instant pot show. Yep. Yep. That's right. Yep. Tomas did an egg instant pot show all by himself. <laughs> That's right. That's what he say? Make sure you always do it with a grown-up. That's right. Tomas says, make sure you always do it with a grown-up. That's great advice, Tomas. Maybe I was supposed to put that side down. I don't know. Okay. Now. <laughs> Miss Nunda said, yeah, and I hate step six, too, Tomas. <laughs> well, thank you, but, well, Okay, you're making a vlog over there? All right, so what you doing now? I'm going to measure my liquid where I'll know how much rice I can use and how much I need to add to it. Howdy, retired and prepping. All right, did you show them my, my juice? No, I didn't show them the juice. Look how nice that is. Ooh, boy. Mmm, smells good. See? I put one cup of liquid in there, and I ended up with, that's three cups up right there, up to here, so three cups. So, okay, let me set this down here. I'm not used to having a camera to hold me around with. Let me turn broil on, well, that can be getting hot. Now, let's see, so that's that. I'm going to add some of this to it. Was that your homemade creamy mushroom? Yeah. Nice. Three cups of this, so four cups. Yeah, yeah three cups of rice. So I'm going to make this. How much did I say it was? Three cups? Okay, so I'm going to make this four cups of liquid. Gosh, I hate to put that much. Maybe I ought to save some of this broth for another time. Oh, I guess I could freeze the rice. The chip, the rice. That's what I'll do. I'll just make it all. Live and unscripted, folks. Just flying by the seat of her pants. Now. So you're going for how much? Five? Four cups. Four cups. And it's there. Okay. Now. Let me stick this back over there right quick. Out the way. I'm going to taste it and see if we need salt. Probably do. When you're doing this liquid for the uh, the rice, you want it to be a little on the salty side. Mmm. It tastes so good. You want to taste it? No. Give me the salt right there, please. And you want it to be a little on the salty side because mm -hmm. the rice is going to take some of that out, That's right? right? That's right. So, just, and it don't need much salt. That's because of that Tony's, I guess. And in Mississippi, that. that is not much salt. The world needs more salt, as Tara says. <laughs> it is really cold. Um, okay. But I wanted it a little salty. Yep. All right, now, y'all, this is what I always do. I don't think it would be a good idea if stuff got spilt down up in there. So I usually try not to ever, which I did pour my water in there, but I try not to pour, and I, I never serve out of my base. I never serve, I never pour stuff in the base. I try and do that, unless I've got it sauteed or something, because I'm scared it'll get spilled down up in there. 
<laughs> BJ Stacy said, Tara is correct. I agree. Salt is a good thing. The Bible says so. Eat that stuff. My sister saved this canister for me because she thought it would be good for me. This plastic. Oh everything. yeah. So that's a nice canister. Right. And y'all, I'm going. We're not selling these books except at conferences. But I want to show y'all in my instant pot book. I have it broken down here. So see, I'm going to use four cups of the liquid. So I'm going to put three cups of rice. And I may do just a little shy of three cups because you know the mushrooms is taken up. Yeah. You know, some of the liquid and all that, too. So, I'm, I'm going to probably do two and three-quarter cup of rice to go with my four cups. That's on page nine in Patty's easy, 20 Easy Instant Pot Recipe book. And this is, it's an e-book. And see what I'm doing. This is chicken tetrazzini. I'm writing down my other recipes that I'm converting, and I'm going to add it to the book. Here's the whole chicken right here. It's on page 20. On page five. 25. So, anyway, all right. So, what did I say? Two and three-quarters. Right? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I got to keep going over here. That's Tomas up there vlogging. Are you following me around? What did I say? Three quarters? Three quarters? I know. I, I was vlogging about you vlogging. <laughs> Tommy is a lot better at turning the camera around, isn't he? I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. Right, Thanks, two, Kim. We love him to pieces. Two and three quarters. Miss Kim Farmer said, you sure are cute. All right, there's one. And we, here's one come over here. It's missing two. one piece and... Whoa! Nice. Um, and I still don't know how you're gonna get in there. And then, um, this, <laughs> this happened. Three quarters. Oh. That's okay. Okay. This happened. Two and three quarters instead of three because the mushrooms are taking up some space. And it's okay if it's a little juicy, you know. It can be a little I like juicy. it a little juicy. Oh. I told him you love this rice. Oh, I do. And this is loud. Oh, sorry, that was pretty loud. Mm -hmm. It was pretty loud, but probably it's woke everybody up. We got 72 people with us. Hello, people. All right. That sounded okay. like you sound like Tara when you said that. Hello, people. No, she's like, come on, people. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, Bandana Grandma's going to have a local grandbaby in. Uh, yeah. In November. And she's finding out what the grandbaby is uh, the 24th, I think, because the 25th is her birthday. Okay, now, I always look at my book. Um, mm -hmm. oh, I can't right now. All right, high pressure for three minutes. So, pressure, no, manual. Oh. It's already on high pressure, so i got to go back down to three minutes. And then this is going to have to have natural pressure release. So, after it beeps, I turn it off. Oops, there's three. All right. My valve is closed back there, and so it's going to come up to pressure and cook for three minutes. And then see this little button right there? That's how you turn it off. And you turn that off once it comes up to pressure. I mean, once it gets through cooking, and you let it sit there until all the steam goes away by itself, and the little thing goes down. You don't release the steam this time. So, and if you already know that, I'm sorry. I just, some people that's not familiar with the Instant Pots, they don't know. So, and you could do this with any kind of meat. Like you could do, you could you could fry ground meat. Um, can they hear me, baby? Okay. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Nobody's saying um, they can't. Um, you can you could fry ground meat, and you could um, add some beef bouillon to it, or, or make it make a gravy. And uh, baby, quit. <laughs> and you could add uh, your water and add your rice to it, and have you know. What we kind of call that? That'd be kind of like a dirty rice to us, kind of. If you had Tell the chickens we said, hey, Grandma Rose. But um, anyway, so, I mean, you can do that with all kinds of things. You just have to make sure your, your liquid ratio okay. to your rice is right. So, okay, so now we got to wait. Oh, i got to stick this chicken in the oven. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, good news is it's not raw because there's no blood on here. So that's a good thing. Okay. 
I think it's cooked. It just may be tough. Uh, yeah, it needs to be cooked longer. Yeah. Hey, Mommy, are you see? Uh huh. And the reason I was wanting to go ahead and cook this whole chicken, too, is because we have a lot of vegetables in the refrigerator, so we don't have any any meat to go with it. And so I was going to have this chicken where we can have a lot of different meals, have chicken and rice, we have mashed potatoes in there. Julie's been here and cooking. And so, um, anyway, so we have a lot of stuff in the fridge, and so I was going to make this chicken to go with it, and now I'm going to have to cook this chicken some more, I think. So I'm going to turn it over this way, I think. I don't know which way I want up. It's juicy in there. It just feels tough. Which way do I want to have it? I think like that. Like that? Maybe that is blood. I don't know. Okay. Thanks, Tara. This is Tara's fault. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to stick that back in there. In the bowl. Well, I guess maybe I'll not roll it. Well, I'll roll it. I'll do it. Okay, here we go. And baby, I made a video today you're going to have to edit. That is good. Okay. On baking, on how I get everything baked. Okay. So, all right. I'm going to set it for three minutes because I'm afraid I'll forget it. So, okay, we can come back and sit down now, I guess, for a few minutes. Like there was something else I want to talk about too. I don't know. Whoa. You gotta put that up there. I see that. Oh, um. And guys, these are the skateboards. I have another one, but I, I'm just not using it. But these are two skateboards. So one for each foot. It's one for each hand. Oh, each hand. Each <laughs> hand. Um, one thing I wanted to tell y'all is that, you know, the queen loaves that I've been making, um, I've been bringing them to the farmer's market, and last week I brought 10, and I sold out. And so, uh, it's, the, my, the, the new things that I've been doing, the pesto bread has been going good. I made, uh, I did a strawberry one today, a strawberry fig, uh, Queen loaf today to see how it goes. So I'm bringing another tin back. I'm doing blueberry and apple mostly. I did do a couple lemon last week. And so they're doing good. You should have brought more than ten. Wait. Y'all are starting to pick figs now? No, not yet, but it's almost time. Tomas <laughs> loves figs. Oh, I thought about doing a fig cat a fig one. A fig oh, video? Yeah. <laughs> You're all about a videos. Fig queen you? loaf. Oh. How would you like that? I don't know. I really like blueberry ones. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. If it doesn't fall apart when you flip it out like that, it's not done enough. Oh, well. That's what Patty McGee Lawson said. And I agree. I agree. I like my... Well, I, I wanted it to stay together where I could get it out, but I didn't want... Uh, I wanted it done. So that... Um, okay, Peaceful Inspiration says, what is a clean loaf? Okay. A clean loaf is something that I came up with uh, with my sourdough because we're, you know, of course we're down south and um, they do Mardi Gras and everything and um, they do a king cake. And I don't know if you're, I'm going to explain it just in case you're not familiar with a king cake. A king cake is, it's, it's round and it's got a filling on the inside. It'll be cream cheese and it can be apples or blueberry, whatever kind of filling in it. And so they only do that uh, January and February, just until Mardi Gras. They don't make king cakes anymore. And so I thought, well, why? Because I can't sell them, really. Our market's not going on then. And I thought that would sell good in our market. And so I, I come up with the idea, or, well, I come up with the idea of making the queen loaf. And I can't remember what viewer came up with the name. Was it was Pia? It, was it Allie or, or Pia? I don't, I don't know. know who it was. I need to find that out. But anyway, one of our viewers came up with to call it a queen loaf. And so, it's so just a little spin on it. It's in, you can find the recipe on page 31 of Patty's ebook, Sourdough Start to Finish, which is available at aldermanfarms.net slash ebooks, and it's on page 31, right across from the cinnamon roll. <laughs> and it's fantastic. And she, she uh, I mean, it lends itself to endless varieties um 
I like the idea of somebody was saying the other day about a caramel. Uh, yes, doing caramel. I've got to come up with caramel a caramel recipe. Something. Caramel and apple. Apples and Yeah, apple and caramel. That, that doesn't seem like what they said, but uh, maybe it was. But anyway. But I'll have to, I wonder if I could just buy those little caramel square things and put them in there and they would melt when I baked it. Mm. Mm. That sounds good. Yeah. Hmm. So. But I did do the lemon. I wasn't real pleased with my lemon filling. Um, I wanted to like it like didn't stay there. And but I, I caught just wasn't thick enough. Yeah. It was like it absorbed more into the bread. It was more loose. And so I thought about just doing all that cream cheese, powdered sugar, and lemon juice. And seeing if that stayed there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it would or not. Yeah. So I bet the lemon one was good. I mean, I'm sure you could taste it in the bread. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it was good. I gave samples. It was good. Okay, uh, Sharon this? says, can you make these things without the sourdough? Oh. Yes, you can. I like using the sourdough. I like the, the feel of the dough. It's a soft dough. But, uh, yes, you can make it with just regular white bread dough. Uh, it's To me, the white bread dough doesn't roll out. It's, uh, Tomas, would you go turn the Instant Pot off, please? Push the yellow button right there. Thank you. Is it hot? No, it's not hot no. right there, but that's good you ask. You see the, yeah, just push that. No, nope, the one that's the one that's lit up, the yellow light. Right yep, right there. Boom. Thank you. Nice. It's kind of warm. It is. Yeah. Oh, oh, peaceful inspiration said add some pecans with the caramel. Mm. That Ooh. sounds good. A that Pauline sounds good. queen loaf. Oh, yeah. That was one that I did like that, but it didn't taste like Pauline's to me when I was playing with it all. And there's a chocolate one that I did too. I haven't brought all that to market. That's when I was just playing with it. The, the so. possibilities are endless. So, and in case y'all didn't know what I just said, some of you may know that it's pralines. Oh, praline. Down here we say praline. Yeah, praline. Yeah. Um, and people from Grace said you'll have to get that book. That's Tommy showed you a print book. We're not selling those uh, through the mail right now. Um, we're just bringing those to conferences. But we do have the ebook. We yep. have an ebook. So. Yep. In fact, uh, it hasn't been on sale in a long time, huh? No. Um, what am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. Can I check? Oh! What? Chicken's brown. On fire? No, oh, it's, it's on uh, fire. The chicken's on fire. No, it's not really. It's not really, but it's nice and brown. Ooh, it's sizzling, too. It's a, All right, yeah. let me turn the camera on. Push that button thing and make it turn around. Oh, yeah. That's what I've been doing. Kind of pass it over this way so they can see it. Little, little yeah, brown it's a little bit spot. a little bit brown. But you know what? I will like that brown spot. I will, too. Now I'm going to get it first. Why? Turn it off. Oh, right. BJ said uh, peanut butter and jelly. You know, I read about a king cake peanut butter and jelly. I didn't know. You would say so you would like that? You gotta turn it I fast would. past the messes, baby. Oh, sorry. Just teasing. They've already seen it. So. <laughs> All right, let's sorry, see. Sorry, that was kind of a bumpy ride. Chocolate and caramel, Kim says. Mmm. Mm, Y'all are coming up with some great ideas. Yes, yes. Yeah, the, the pecans. And y'all, we, we're in a smaller town. And so, you know, the, um, the price that we can charge is not a price like um, what they charge in big cities and everything. But to me, to make it worth my while, I have to, I'm charging $6 for the, uh, it's, a, it's not the big one that y'all seen me make before, but it's, it's a smaller one. And, um, I'm charging six dollars for it for it to be worth my while to make it and to make money off of everything and i'm telling you what i'm selling out every time i go so, yeah they're snatching them up yeah so. the um the queen loaves yeah the queen loaves you like them don't you <laughs> sharon wants to know if your sourdough is real sour no it is not um very I, active though i use a, uh it's called a herman mm. starter is what i use and it is milk and flour and sugar and so it um it, it it doesn't um it's not real sour at all. But you, you can taste that that, that it's sourdough, but it, it doesn't have that that real strong strong taste. Some people prefer a stronger 
you know, sourdough. I per I personally don't. I don't either. But I prefer um, a mild or sourdough, a mild or sourness. Yeah. Jane said that means you, that means you need to raise your price. <laughs> well, I know. I kind of I kind of don't like yeah. to to raise my price except you know at the beginning of you know the market and everything, but. I don't know. I, I've been going back and forth with my cinnamon rolls. Sometimes I make them, and there are these big ones like this today. They, they can't see that. Oh, like this, to, like today. And then sometimes they're turning out smaller. And so sometimes I charge a dollar for them. Sometimes I charge a dollar fifty for them. So yeah. just Patty has a Patty's habit is it's difficult for her to charge charge an amount of money for something that she wouldn't be willing to pay. <laughs> You know, and it's hard to and, get and, out of and it's, it's hard to, yeah, I mean, I, I make it, you know, so, but, but then on the other hand, you know, when I was gluten free, I did pay a lot for bread when I, when I buy bread. That's so, true. That's you true. You know, so, but, um, anyway, I, uh, I also, I haven't shown this either. This is something new that I'm making. What? Um, is, is the onion, uh, rolls. And I'm doing them like a cinnamon roll, and I'm, I'm doing onion flakes on them. Tell me how you ain't got to try one. I haven't got to try one. And did um, you get a one with poppy seed for that? Yeah, I did. I'm doing onion and poppy seed. So I'm, I'm crumbling up onions on on the bread on the dough when it's patted out, and then I'm sprinkling poppy seeds on it, and then I'm rolling it up, and then cutting the rolls, cutting it, you know, like it would be a cinnamon roll, and so I'm putting that uh, six to a pan. And selling that, and that, I, haven't tried that. I haven't been bringing a ton of those with me, but I've been bringing a few, and they've been selling. So, um, Jan says a plain cranberry pecan loaf at my farmer's market is nine dollars. Wow, wow, man! And it's not like she's in New York City or something. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's rural folks. So, yeah. Oh. Pecans, caramels, and chocolate turtle queen loaf. Oh, you know, I have to experiment with that. I wonder if I could put those little squares of caramel in there. Of course, I then have to unpeel peel all of them and put some chocolate chips in there. And then some, I wonder if that would melt together. Hmm, I don't know. It might. Hmm. It'd be, I'd hmm. be, you know, you'd have to do something with it if it didn't work, and I'm, I, I could handle it. Yeah, you could fix it. Mm -hmm. um, BJ Stacy says ham and cheese would be delicious. Yes. Um, I have not done ham and cheese yet. Um, I've been, you know, when I was doing my uh, the pizza loaf, I said uh, that I was going to be doing that, uh, doing the ham and cheese loaf, but I haven't done it yet. But I really want to do that. To me, that would would be amazing to do a ham and cheese loaf. Patty's spectacular pizza loaf is on page fifteen of her ebook, Sourdough Start to Finish, and and she actually said that when she. Yeah, one time when she was doing it the pizza love, oh, I bet this would be good with ham mm -hmm. and cheese. I think I think somebody yeah. else has done it. Um, but uh, I always want to call her Bonterra. Then I, I wonder, then I mess up and say to say Nunda. Uh, she said, "I think Tommy would be willing to recipe test for me." Absolutely. <laughs> well, since we're talking about sourdough and we haven't had a sale on our sourdough book in a long time, they're regularly fifteen dollars, and we do have sales on them. You want to do a? a yeah, but I can't right now. Oh, yeah, I can. Hang on a second. Do a uh, five dollar off. Just yeah, just keep so. talking. Oh, Kim, I don't know what that is. A Monte Cristo sandwich loaf. Cristo, Monte Cristo sandwich loaf. I don't know what that is. So tell me what that is. Um, you know, Tommy's not here to explain things to me. So <laughs> anyway, but I um I I'm gonna have to write some of this stuff down because these ideas down because. <clears throat> I am looking for different ideas of just, you know, just maybe not bringing, you know, five or ten of one thing, but like introduce and bring a couple and see how well they do, and then I can always bring more, you know. So, Tommy, if y'all if y'all want to pick up the sourdough ebook, and remember it's the ebook, it's not the paper book. Um, y'all wait to go over to the st store. Um, our digital store. Um, for ebooks, um, because he's going to do a give you, he's going to give y'all a code to put in where you can get yeah. five dollars off if you want one. So hang on. Okay, Bandana just said Nick just now found Ken Burns Vietnam series free on Netflix. Wow. Started watching it. 
so I'm getting to go in and sit with him. Thanks for all your support about his Vietnam story video. Good night, all. Thank you, Bandana. We, we love appreciate you, Bandana. Y'all. Love, love you, you. Andy. Hmm. All right. But y'all wait if y'all do want the ebook because Tommy's going to get do the discount code for five dollars off tonight till midnight. So. Okay. Patty, I have instructions in the book. Um, she says she could use help because her sourdough fails. Uh, we do sell the sourdough starter too. Um, it's uh, eight dollars, and uh, we can mail that to you. Eight fifty. Eight eight fifty. Yeah. That includes sorry. shipping. But that that includes shipping. That includes shipping, and that's why it's so much because we have to do the shipping. But anyway, um, I give you the recipe in the beginning of the book how to start your starter. I also have videos on on it too if you don't want to get the book um, how to start your starter from scratch now this is using milk flour and sugar um, i really find that it's a long year the um the um, so have you tell you how to uh, rehydrate it and the first six sourdough bread so you know um and then all the different uh breads that i do for the market are all in here. Um, I can't remember who asked, but uh, if you have to use sourdough to make and you and lots of breads like we're talking about the pizza bread, the pizza loaf, and all that don't have to use sourdough. But I'm going to tell you this: I'm flipping through here. I hadn't done it in a while. The holiday pizza crust that um, I have the recipe for in here. Best pizza crust that I've ever used. So easy to roll out and everything. So, um, anyway, so and hey, if I can help you in any way, go back and watch some of our videos and just shoot us a message, and uh, I'll try and help you as much as I can with that. Plus, I mean, we've got the same name. You got to get on the sourdough kick with me. So, anyway, uh, so you getting that done? Then? I'm getting it done. Just keep talking. You're doing good. I'm running out of things to talk about. What y'all want to talk about, y'all? The instant pot. We're waiting for this for the pressure to come down. While we turned it off, and um, natural pressure release is when it naturally pressure naturally comes down. And I explain this because um, uh, some people, you know, don't know about the instant pot. So um, yeah, Nanda said she got uh, my ebook and printed it out and put it in a binder. So I mean, that's great. And I mean this. Well, we're, set, we're selling these at conferences because people like to have a book. I like to have a book. It just costs so much to have these printed and then to mail them to, you know. So, I mean, because this is just paper. This is just paper, nothing special, and this is cardstock. So, it's not, it's not an expensive book, but, you know, we still have to make our money back and all for it. So, right. that's why we're just not doing it. Video is breaking up and buffering. Uh-oh. That's probably because I'm taking up some bandwidth It's his now. fault. See, I tell him all the time, when I get on my computer, my internet messes up. And I tell him it's because he's using too much of it. All right, here we go. I'm just going to type in the coupon code. And this will be good till midnight, y'all. No, so I'll put it for a week. Oh, okay. It's good for one week. It's good for one week, then. You can think about it. But, um... The coupon so. code is FAST5. Two words, no space, five spelled out. Fast five, fast five. You use that coupon code at checkout and you'll get five dollars off. Five dollar, five dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Patty said it was buffering while I was answering her. Um, anyway, what I was saying is that we have lots of videos and everything, but I would be glad to help you uh, in any way I can. So um, just let me know. Sound is low, so hopefully it's it's getting better, y'all. I don't know. Um, I'll just slow down. Yeah, it's kind of a fuzzy picture. I don't know what's up. Let me look at the phone. Oh, it's maybe Tomas uh, nah. using too much. We internet. should have plenty of internet. That, oh, it's hot in here, y'all. That oven going. We should have plenty of internet. They right. said it's better. Oh, so. Okay. So okay, I'm gonna go. Um, hey, Duck in 1900 Homestead. It's your fault we're still here, Duncan. What you talking about? Roll, roll it back around. Because they told... Uh, oh, yeah. Told, you, you asked for it. Here we are. Yeah. Where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> okay. Now, my little thing is down. Right there. That's technical terminology. The little thing is down. The little thing's down. 
So it's safe to, oh, oh you know, and you should still always release the steam just in case. But thank you, Lord, that it was released. Okay, let's see what we have here. You can see all Tommy's wonderful mushrooms. Yes. On top. I could just eat that. And I'm very pleased with the consistency of it. It's not totally dry, but it's not, you know, it's not like you have gravy on it either, but it's very moist, so. Don't sweat it, Duncan. She said, I'm sorry. I was giving the dogs a haircut. I'm sure they're glad you made that choice. Well, yes, and mine will be glad when you come on over here and do theirs, too. <laughs> Peaceful Inspiration says the ebook will be my birthday present to myself and a discount to boot. Woohoo! Happy, happy birthday. That's what I should have made the code, some kind of oh, yeah. birthday, happy birthday code. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm a little worried because the rice don't look all the way cooked to me. That's a little crunchy. Is it? That's the first time. Doggone I've you, it. Tara. It is all Tara's fault. But look, let me tell you what you do with that. You cook a little longer. Yeah, oh, but you know what? My rice is getting kind of old. I wonder if it's because it was old. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's always come out perfect. It's, my rice is always perfect. And I did three minutes, didn't I, y'all? Yeah. Are you not know what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. Hmm. I think. <laughs> Kim says, Tara strikes again. When, if y'all go up, if y'all watching Tara's feed, y'all tell her, I can't believe what y'all did to Patty. Yeah. You cursed Patty. Three minutes is what it's supposed to cook. Well, what you do is you put it back on, close it up, manual, mm. we'll do it in just one minute, it's not bad, mm. oh well, I'll do it two, two won't hurt. Yeah, it won't hurt it, anyway, right? Anyway, we'll do that, yeah, well, nah, it won't hurt it, not for that short amount of time. What's the matter? I think he's hungry. Yeah. Oh, you miss his Annie? You miss um, Annie? Can I text Annie and she texts back, but my eye text there. Oh, oh. I sent her a video. That's okay. alright. I'll get it. We'll, we'll, we'll get it charged we'll charge in a little it while. just a minute, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. um, Sharon Stevenson says, how do you buy with PayPal? You, you do not have to have a PayPal account. It will allow you to uh, use a credit card through PayPal without signing up. I'm almost positive of that. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Jan says, and I'm glad she did because that's something we haven't talked about. She says, are we still going to Hannibal? We are. We are indeed. In August. Um, yep. What is it? Oh, I don't, I, my phone is right there too. What's the date on the Hannibal? Is I it? can't remember. Yeah, let me see. I don't think so. I think it's. Uh, I want to say it's the thirteenth. Uh, oh, look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my phone. Where's your calendar at? Okay. Oh, I can't find that. Okay, let's see. August. Uh, I think it's August 12th. Yes, yeah, August 12th and 13th in Hannibal, Missouri. Hannibal, Missouri. Yes. The Homesteading Life Conference with Doug and Stacy. All yes. three with Doug and Stacy. And we're very excited about mm -hmm. being there. Yes, and we're going to have a booth there. So we're going to have our Saturday story. We'll have our little print books and stuff like that. And um, also, um, before that, though, we're going to be going to Michigan to the Hook Nanny. Woohoo! So we're excited to go there. Family Homestead. Michigan. Michigan Homesteaders YouTube Hoot Nanny. <laughs> he said he's going to work on shortening that yeah, name shorten that. next year because it's just a mouthful. And that is July 28th. Hey, so Bam Grits. That's not going to be uh, hey, Debbie. much longer. So. Yeah. Uh, he said the sound is low when we're in front of the computer. Well, I don't know why. Huh. Well, is it because you, well, you I don't know, because we're further away from it. I guess I need to put my coach voice on and we need to project more. Well, it's that, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, son, drop and give me 20. What? Never mind. Um, I'm not 
not giving you part, well, part, part of it is because, yeah, this, I, I, I don't know why. Well, I don't That's know. It's a smaller just, area back there. so. Normally, we've got a, a quality external mic, and but Patty was had to fly by the seat of her pants to get this done because my uh, work ran late. And so it's just the iPhone. Yeah. And um, we'll we'll try to up we'll try to talk a little louder. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um. Oh, none of this is gonna sound fine. So. Okay. Mm. Why does Duncan say what? You can ban grits, but I can also ban you. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. But. Hey. Are they doing anything? Who? No, it's baseball season. Alabama doesn't have a baseball team. Oh, they don't? Um, also, we got the... <laughs> Are you doing that, Ashley? Yeah. Do they have a baseball team? Yeah. Tommy! That's all right. I popped they it. Have, they have a football team for sure. Um, now they See, they were saying they love you. Ben Brisson, said, oh, I love you, Tommy. I know, they're laughing. See? See? They're laughing. They're not laughing now. Hey, we're not in Omaha either, so... I don't like Alabama. I'll tell you how funny <laughs> Tomas said, I don't like Alabama. The, uh, but how funny is college, to show you how funny college baseball is, I mean, LSU is sitting at home, right? We're and not finished talking about where we're going. Arkansas and Mississippi State and Florida all in the College World Series, three SEC teams, all three of them we whipped. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the nature of the game. I, I, don't misinterpret that. They're better than we are. They they are we're, they're there, and a state is Mississippi State sitting pretty. They, yeah, uh, I'm excited about state. They're one game away. I don't know if you know this. They're one game away from the championship. Wow. If they win Friday, they're in the championship. Wow. Just crazy. Wait, what are they gonna do in the championship? Good night, Grandma Rose. Glad you joined us. Um, get one of the little plastic cups, Tomas. Night, Grandma. Also, um. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. Uh, I was going to say something. You got all of us talking about that sports stuff. You're talking about where we're going. Yes. And so we talked about we're going to Michigan. We're going to Missouri. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to end out the year in Virginia. Front Royal Virginia. Yes. At the second annual Which Homesteaders one? of America conference. Woo-hoo. Where Patty will be teaching... Uh, <laughs> A new course called How to Make Bread with Bread. Yes. It'll be how to, uh, it'll be, I mean, you're, you'll, be, you'll be talking about bread making, right? Oh, yeah, bread making. Uh, well, I'm going to be talking about how I got started at Farm Farm. But, I mean, there will be bread Thank making you. instruction. Would you turn that off again, please, the Instant Pot? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to, uh, and my goal is to have my new bread book made by then um, with all the different breads that I started the market with because I did not start our farmer's market with sourdough. I started it with different basic breads. Or vegetables. So, yeah, yeah, I didn't bring any vegetables either. So I'm going to be talking about how I got started in the farmer's market, how someone else can get started in a market, and what's what worked for me and... Uh, all the different things that I do now, my booth setup, I've learned so much. I've made friends like with Sherry at 7D. She, uh, she really helped me with my booth setup and everything. It's changed so much. She just opened my mind up um, to, to the different things I can do. Sometimes I use her exact setup like she does, and then I've done a few little different things, but she just opened my mind up. She does farmer's markets in North Mississippi. And so... Um, you know, and she's uh, she's helped me out a lot with the different breads that I'm making too. There's the jalapeno cheese, the muffalata bread, the cheesy bread. You know, so. she is a doll. So, she's um, an absolute doll, and it, she's so kind. I mean, she's doing farmers markets in the same state. You know, four hours away from four us. Four hours away at the most. And she never blinked about. Didn't blink. You know, hey, how about try this? Do this? All about. You know, I mean, we would understand if she would have felt a little funny about sharing her secrets. Mm -hmm. with another baker in the same state only four hours away but I mean yeah, she has just very kind poured her expertise into Patty and it's mm -hmm. just been wonderful we yeah. just love her so I just really appreciate that so I, you know I'm going to be sharing a lot of the different things you know that I've learned through the years I've been doing the market uh going on 11 years now I am the market really? manager too mm -hmm. yeah. wow yeah I'm the market manager I started going with a card table which y'all know how big a card table, and y'all can't see my arms, but you know, just like for four people that can sit around. And now um, I use two six foot tables plus another table. So, um, peaceful. 
interactions. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, the, the big pictures will. Well, that um, can't be because I just opened that up. Wait, it quit. Your computer's a hog. No, but we've got See? huge See? amounts of bandwidth. Y'all have helped me prove this that Tommy is the reason I can't do stuff on the internet because he opened up his computer and it started buffering. Look, it did it again. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Let's see if it goes away. Yeah, Bam Regrets, I understand. It is. Uh, I have a hard time. She said she's uh, she's having a hard time getting... Uh, the, come on, I said she... Bam Regrets, is that a girl? I don't know. Bam Regrets? Yeah, tell me if you're a girl or a boy. Because I'm terrible about that. I assume she. I always say she and I offend people. Or I say he sometimes. Yeah. Anyway. But don't anyway. Don't take offense. They said... Um, that they're struggling getting this stuff from the garden to the kitchen, much less to the farmer's market. <laughs> I understand. Uh, if you, let's show them my, my squash. We can unplug this thing, can't we? I don't know. How much power you got? Oh, that's 100%. Yeah. Female. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Bama Grits. You met us at DHS. Oh, I know who that is. I'm sorry. I know exactly who you are. And I think she meant to say that, you, that, that we met them at D. S-H, yeah. not, not the Department of Human Services. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm tired. I've been up since 4 30. Look at this. That's my spaghetti squash harvest right there. And this is zucchini and yellow, that's yellow squash. I'm going to have to feed to the pigs, I'm sure. You see how dark it is? It's too big. But this is good, and I've got to can that. I've got enough to can. So I'm excited about that, uh, but I've got to have time to do it. Yep. So... All right. Okay, here I'm giving so it to Tommy. So we're gonna try something here. All right, let's. Uh, oh, I told you, I've told you for years, it's your fault that you. We're not talking about that anymore. I know. Okay, and see, here's the problem. Here, I'm gonna tell you something. Wait a minute. Sorry. Well, guess I'm gonna tell you something. I know what the problem is. Um, and this is my fault. It's user error. Whenever you cook in your instant pot. See, my little thing is already down. It shouldn't be down that quick. Whenever you cook, and it never came up, most likely. Whenever you cook in your Instant Pot, when you do double things, you have got to take your little rubber thing off and clean it, make sure there's nothing trapped under here before you cook again. Uh. Because something, sometimes something happens and it don't seal up correctly. That's why my rice isn't cooking. It's And see, I didn't check it to make sure it was coming up, and it probably wasn't. I've had this happen before, and so it's my user error mistake. All right, Tara, so you're see, off the Tara, hook. I can admit my shortcoming. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Tara, you are naughty. Uh, oh, and look, let me show you another way that I know that that happened, because you see how it's stuck on the bottom right there? Yeah. See that stuck on the bottom? That's what happens because it was trying to bring it up to pressure and whatever reason it was not happening. So, Tomas, would you answer this phone? Miss Aunt Abby and tell her we're doing our YouTube show. We'll call her back, okay? So anyway, that's the problem with what's going on. So, the one making like that. Okay, just hang up. <laughs> Anyway, so y'all. That's going to be good and tasty, though. Yeah, it tastes good. I think the rice is cooked now. I need to quit scraping this bottom up, though. Uh, don't feel dumb, Sharon. Uh, no, the, the starter yeah. does not come with the, the sourdough ebook. The, uh, the, you can find the starter in, uh, at aldermanfarms.net slash store. Night, Bama Grits. Hugs back. Okay, night, Bama Grits. Go, All Tigers. Right. So, the rice is okay. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry, y'all, too. Patty, oh. Patty is a loud person. And sorry, me. She's louder than me. <laughs> Patty, McGee uh, Patty McGee Lofton says, I love the reality of live streaming. It makes me feel normal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, our motto is Alderman Farms, where life on the farm just got real. I mean, this is this is what happens, you know. Is it cooked now? It's Not quite. Like, Tomas, answer the phone again, please. It's still got a little bit of a hard place in it. 
I'm still making that noise. Okay. What do I do? But not bad. Hang up. But um, I like the the, the texture. Um, not the texture. The um, the amount of liquid that was in it before I recooked it again. It did take some of the liquid out. It's more. It's more like rice. I'm gonna give Tommy a taste of. Turn the camera on. Okay. Boom. Bam. Taste it like a baby. Hmm. <laughs> that level of crunch in the rice is acceptable. acceptable. Mm -hmm. Why did he look like a baby? <laughs> hey, boy. What you talking about over there? Mmm. <laughs> Man, that's good. Mm, well. so. Anyway. I think I'm going to leave the camera turned this way and experiment. Well, just because I think I want to see if the audio is better. It shouldn't be, but I just want to know. Hey. So is the audio better now than it was when I when I had the uh, front facing camera working? Well, thank you, Bonnie. They're trying, they're trying to fix the motor Okay, Bonnie. So, okay, they said it's better. That's um, weird. It should be. You know what? I think I think I just I think I determined about my phone. And it may be the same on yours. I bet your case needs, I bet this needs to be cleaned. Are you saying I'm a dirty person? No. I, f I say our phones live on I a farm <laughs> and, and, they, and they get dirty. Uh, I am too, buddy. So <laughs> that's interesting that the, uh, that it's, it shouldn't, I'm gonna get some more it something. should pick up better when we're facing the camera the other way, but apparently it's not. So, but anyway, um, well, I feel like Tara. Hold on. I read the instructions though. Yeah. No, I love. Thank Tara. you, Bonnie. She Hope you enjoy it. Yes. Yeah, so oh, thank you, Bonnie. Um, Tara will feel much better after oh, watching oh, this yes, if she yes. watches this far. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we were hammering it's, her pretty good earlier. Yeah, because we've been on almost two hours. So we better. With speaking of which, I've been up since four thirty this morning. It is almost nine o'clock at night here. And Tommy has got to, he has got to go. He has got lots of dishes to wash. I did supper, right? Yep. <laughs> After I eat. No. How do you get rid of Japanese beetles? Been invaded. Uh. Um. Infantry? Yeah, I can do a jinx. Like Japanese beetles. I don't know. You know, uh, I don't know. I, I really, I really, really don't know. I would die to earth them. I know that. <laughs> Nunda says the house is backwards now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, no, it's not to me. It, it is on. It, no, actually, Nunda, the house is correct now. <laughs> um, yeah, the house is correct now. It was backwards earlier, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, Peaceful Inspiration says, are we in the central time zone? Yes, yes we, we are. are. And, and Kim said, Living Traditions Homestead has a video on Beatles. So that may be so worth So check that out, check that Duncan out. 1900, because yeah. I don't know what yeah. to tell you. Yeah. All right, Tomas, you got anything you want to say to the people before we hang up? Um, well, if y'all don't know this, my mommy works at a gymnastics gym, and uh, she teaches kids how, how like, to teach gymnastics um, or cheering. And there's a warped wall there, and I almost... A warped wall. A warped wall, and I almost made it up. Almost made it. So if y'all ever watch uh, 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 American Ninja Warrior, is that yeah. right? Yeah, where they have to run up that warped wall. Tomas touched the top wow. of the warped wall today. I seen it and actually got a video of it. So Good job. maybe yet, we'll show it next week. Can you post it on YouTube? Uh, I can post it on Facebook right now, and uh, I mean in a few minutes. And uh, Miss Kim said, "Awesome, Tomas," and Miss Nanda said, "Good job, Ninja Tomas." <laughs> <laughs> Ew, um, and I can do a handstand. I should have showed Paul Paul. Yeah, oh, you should wow. have. Oh, great! I can do a really, I can do a really good handstand. I I'm believe so proud it. of you uh, because you're an athlete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, but there's one thing we say at the end of our videos, and what do we say? No. Uh, don't forget to press the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to Olderman Farms. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hope you have a great night. Love y'all.